Hi, I'm Jessica Jensen, and I'm preparing to be an English instructor in the middle school grade. My great-grandmother was an English instructor in a tiny town with a population smaller than my high school graduating class. She became notorious for ironing out the inks and cricks of her country students and turning them into the eloquent uh, language art learners that they became. While I admire my grandmother and the many English teachers like her who have preserved the English language and its rich beauties, I have become concerned um, in my studies that historically the English instruction pattern has been to destroy um, non-standard dialects rather than engage and uplift students in, in the language arts. Uh, as I talk today, <laughs> when I talk about dialects, I'm not talking about different languages. I'm talking about vernacular such as African American vernacular English or Chicano English or, or one of the dozens of other dialects that are used across the United States. Um, as I have prepared to be an English teacher, I've spent time in classrooms that have read books such as Jason Reynolds' A Long Way Down or Angie Thomas's The Hate You Give. Both of these books, pictured on your screen, uh, use the African-American vernacular English in empowering and enlightening ways. Uh, I've noticed as students engaged in those that they felt like they had a place in literature and also a place in the classroom. I'm not alone in this. People much smarter and much more connected than I have performed studies, which you can read more about on my blog post, um, concerning this use of dialect in the classroom. You'll see on your screen a graph resulting from one of those studies that talks about uh, the use of two teaching approaches in the English classroom. One is the artful approach, which allows English vernaculars a place in the classroom um, and allows either the teacher speaks the dialect her herself or himself or uses patterns that are similar to what the students are familiar with. The interrupting approach is when a teacher chooses to interrupt or correct a student immediately. As you can see, uh, the blue line, which is the artful approach, is much higher <laughs> than the orange line, representing a much higher student reading score when teachers engage their students using their vernacular. Uh, it is my hope that as I prepare to be an English teacher that my students will be able to have a place in my classroom regardless of their dialect or vernacular used. I want them to know that they're free to, to speak their, their words and they're just as valid as anybody else.